Hi there. a little bit of a Gordy Tentrees band, my my pal Gordy Tentrees from up in the Yukon. He's got some wonderful music. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, uh, I'll probably be back up at the cabin uh, this weekend, but uh, yeah, back for now. It's good. <laughs> Jeepers, I'm spaced out. I, you may have noticed, uh, Facebook apparently has let me, uh, let me back in, which is cool. Uh, so I set up that page in the interim, and it worked out. And now I'm back on this, and I need to figure out how to uh, uh, connect uh, this profile to that page, which is a just a. A deal for another day, I think. We'll start out with some black pumas. Thank you. 
my sisters and my brothers Seen them like no other All my favorite colors It's a good day to be Good day for me Good day to see my favorite color My sisters and my brothers Seen them like no other Hello Melina, hello Phoenix, hello Geiger, hello Ruthie, <laughs> it's like a homecoming, <laughs> it's like there's a whole parade of homecoming. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't even have on my, uh, my request list. Do I have anything in the queue? Ooh, I do have one in the queue. All right, Matt. I will play that, I think, right after this one that I'm about to play. Because the one I'm about to play, I wrote today. <laughs> uh, and it has some John Prine qualities to it. Uh, actually, uh, quite a bit of John Prine quality to it. Yes, I hear you, honey. And my cat's being vocal. So this song actually uh, was born from not an intentional prompt, but a, a post that was made by Michaela Bobaru in the Cool People, the Night People group, which is fans of Billy Collins. And she put, I don't know... I think she just put up the post because it was a fun mistake in language, but it was a sign that was meant to read cotton candy chicken nuggets. But what it read like was cotton chicken candy nuggets. And that inspired me to write this song, which is called Cotton Chicken Candy Nuggets. I screwed up plus okay okay forgive me I just wrote this today so it's like we'll see how it goes you know it's one of those all right cotton chicken candy nuggets so I'm gonna get my feel today cotton chicken candy nuggets gonna gobble them up and play croquet well, I've been up since 4 a.m. Think about the sweet crunch that they give. I can drink my coffee and shoot my gin. There's nothing in the world like the sweetness in. Those cotton chicken candy nuggets, I'm gonna get my fill today. Cotton chicken candy nuggets, gonna gobble them up and play croquet. Well, I went to the fair when the moon bell rang Thought I had a hunger for a lemon meringue But I saw that sign and thought again Well, ain't something nothing, they all be damned If those aren't cotton chicken candy nuggets So I'm gonna get my fill today Cotton chicken candy nuggets Gonna gobble them up and play croquet I'm gonna get my fill today Cotton chicken candy nuggets Gonna gobble them up and play croquet Well the sun went down and the moon did rise I played ring toss and won a prize And sure that victory felt sweet But there's only one joy that can't be beat And that's cotton chicken candy nuggets So I'm gonna get my fill today Cotton 
and chicken and candy nuggets. Gonna gobble them up and play croquet. Gonna gobble them up and play croquet. Gonna gobble them up and play croquet. <laughs> That's not not bad for a first run through on cotton chicken candy nuggets. <laughs> yeah, this is a very very fresh song. <laughs> but but like you're going to have a hard time forgetting that one. Yeah, it's got it's got earworm qualities for sure, Amanda. <laughs> oh. Johnny, I have two requests. Billy wants two things. Read the term. The long walk home. I don't know the long walk home. Oh my goodness. I can read the term. I can do that because that but the long walk home I don't I don't have in my repertoire unless you're thinking of a song I've played that I just can't put two and two together the long walk home oh my goodness long walk home I'm trying to think of like what is it a it's a song My goodness. <laughs> Speaking into your phone and it doesn't understand you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but the term I can read because I have it in my book. It was just kind of reflective one day and, it, and the thoughts came in my head. But where, where is it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my guitar down temporarily. Sorry for all the delays, folks. You know, the term will be really weird after cotton chicken candy nuggets, but you know what? I uh, Back in the day, I made a pretty good career out of changing gears really fast and going from utterly goofy tunes to real tear, tear jerkers. So we might as well do this. Um, from a really goofy song to a very, uh, a very serious poem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I am pretty complex. That's, it's a fair assessment. <laughs> this is interesting. Um, above the term, I have a quote that I wrote down from Joseph Campbell. I was reading his uh, hero's hero's journey I think and the quote is wars and temper tantrums are the makeshifts of ignorance regrets are illuminations come too late that quote struck me so I wrote it down so here we go Billy uh, the term just for you When I first heard the term, I didn't know the meaning that referred to density. I thought orange juice required a lot of focus to make. And camp, that was where we were sent in the summer. A terrifying place at first with so many strange faces and uncomfortable sights. But it became fun, gradually, sometimes so much that we didn't want to go home. So when I heard the term, I pictured all those Jewish people in a nice open space playing games that required thinking really hard. Then I saw the images 
and learned the other definition and felt my ignorance slip off my shoulders to be replaced by sadness, an empathy shawl that settled, never removed, ever added to by life's education. That's the term. And I'll do your uh, Bruce tune. Thank you, Billy. It, uh, it means a lot to me that anybody pays attention to my poetry. <laughs> poetry is not exactly a hot art these days, so when people like it, it's pretty special. Uh, Facebook's weird. I'm glad they let me back in. I don't know what I did to piss them off. It's probably all the criticism. <laughs> no, somebody, somebody said I shouldn't be posting my playlists on there because it's just a, it's like a trigger for them where they're, they're like, oh, he's playing, he's playing the Rolling Stones or he's playing Leonard Cohen. Or, I don't know. Somebody, somebody famous. <clears throat> <laughs> Sweet Star 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 Fridays. Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. While digesting Reader's Digest in the back of a dirty bookstore, a plastic flag with gun on the back fell out on the floor. Well, I picked it up and ran outside, slapped it on my window shield. I can see old Betsy Ross and tell her how good I feel. But your flag and cow won't get you into heaven anymore. They're already overcrowded in your dirty little war. And Jesus don't like killing, no matter what the reason's for. Your flag and cow won't get you into heaven. the bank this morning and the cashier said to me well if you join the Christmas club we'll give you ten of them flags for free now I didn't mess around a bit I took him up for what he said and I stuck them stickers all over my car and one on my wife's forehead but your flag account won't get you into heaven anymore they're already overcrowded your dirty little don't like killing, no matter what the reason's for. And your flag can won't get you into heaven anymore. Well, I got my windshield so filled up with flags I couldn't see. So I ran my car upside a curb and right into a tree. By the time they got a doctor down, well, I was already dead. And I'll never understand what the man at the early gates said that your flag cow won't get you into heaven anymore they're already overcrowded with your dirty little war and Jesus don't like killing no matter what the reason's for and your flag cow won't get you into heaven There you go, Matt. John Prine, your flagged cow won't get you into heaven anymore. Yes, Phoenix, oh, you, you better enjoy it. <laughs> There's a whole lot of people who will be envious of you going there and, and yeah, I mean, I know you will. I know you'll enjoy it. That's kind of inevitable. This is a Bob Dylan song off my favorite Bob Dylan album uh, that 
<clears throat> based on the Eric Cuff's uh, live stream some weeks ago, I don't think it's anybody's favorite Bob Dylan album. <laughs> I have heard of Cool Papa Bill. Yeah. That's it. I've just heard of him. <laughs> That's it. I've I've heard it. <laughs> I got nothing else. All right. Guns across the river aiming at you. Lawman on your look straight, he'd like to catch you. Bounty hunters, too, they'd like to get you. Billy, they don't like you to be so free. Camping out all night on the veranda. Dealing counts till down on the head.
with some new stranger sneaking glance some trigger happy fool willing to take chances some old whore from a San Pedro to make it Dances on your spirit and your soul. Businessmen from towns want you to go down. They've hired Pat Gary to force a showdown. Be shot down by the man who was your friend. So hang on to your woman if you got one. Remember in El Paso once you bought. Guitars, they will play your grand for now. Up in some Tula Rosa and maybe in the Rio Pecco. That song is very simply called Billy One. And it's off Bob Dylan's Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid album. Hey, LV. How you been doing? <laughs> I'm going to play a song by the band now. I think this might be my last tune. My voice is pretty shot tonight. Uh, clearly I haven't been keeping up with my vocal practices. And, uh, sometimes my voice just disappears. So I hope you enjoy this. It's one of Robbie Robertson's prettier songs. And I think I'll play it with fingers instead of pick. summer night we lay in the tall grass till the morning light and if I had my way I'd never get the urge to roam a young man serves his country and an old man guards the home don't send me no distance salutation Silly souvenirs from far away Don't leave me alone in the twilight Cause 
was Twilight by Robbie Robertson and the band off the Northern Lights Southern Cross album. Thanks all for listening. I'm sorry I haven't been around that much. Um, had all sorts of troubles with Facebook. I'm really glad that's solved and now I can get back to uh, hopefully doing this on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got a note saying, and congrats, I re received 10 or 100 messages today. So that seems like a great time to just book it. <laughs> Have sweet dreams, everyone. I hope your Friday is awesome, and I'll, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for listening in. <laughs>